TCG Anadolu is an amphibious assault ship of the Turkish Navy that can be configured as a STOVL aircraft carrier. The construction works began on 30 April 2016 at the shipyard of Sedif Shipbuilding Incorporated in Istanbul, with the keel being laid on 7 February 2018, and is expected to be commissioned in 2022. The vessel is intended to meet the various needs and requirements of the Turkish Armed Forces, such as sustaining long-endurance, long-distance military combat or humanitarian relief operations, while acting as a command center and flagship for the Turkish Navy. All of the ship's weapons system will be procured by Turkish firms Aselsan and Havelsan. The ship will feature a Turkish combat management system, namely the Genesis Advent, which will be integrated by Aselsan and Havelsan. In December 2013, the Turkish LPDLHD program was originally estimated to cost $500 million. But then the final contract for the construction of the ship was signed with the Navantia Sedif Consortium on 7 May 2015. With the estimated cost of the ship, according to the final specifications was declared as $1 billion in 2015. According to the original plan, the Turkish Navy wanted a slightly shorter flight deck without the ski jump ramp in front to be optimized for use with only helicopters. However, the Turkish Navy later changed its plan and opted for a fully equipped flight deck with a ski jump ramp in front, after deciding to purchase F-35B STOVL aircraft. But then the U.S. Senate blocked the export of the fighter jet to Turkey, due to its purchase of the S-400 missile system from Russia, which is subjected to Katsa sanctions. In the short term the Turkish Navy will operate domestically produced UKIV, such as the Barakta TB3. Recently, Ismail Dema shared the update about the TCG Anadolu on his Twitter account, he's saying that, the countdown has begun, and we have started the sea acceptance tests, which is the last stage of the project on our Anadolu ship, and we are conducting tests for various systems. Turkey will further strengthen a presence in the seas with Anadolu which will take into inventory after the verification and certification activities, Ismail Demir said. TCG Anadolu is aircraft carrier type vessel modeled on Spain's LHD-1 Carlos. The vessel is set to be equipped with various domestic systems. For its air power, our 1W attack helicopters are expected to be deployed initially, before Turkish Aerospace Industries made attack 2 helicopters, tailored for naval platforms, replace those particular choppers. For land platforms, one of the domestic products that come to the fore is the amphibious assault vehicle, the Zaha developed by the FNSS. The 21 personnel capacity Zaha Marine Assault Vehicle was designed to facilitate the rapid movement of naval troops to mission locations and allow Marines to reach shorelines in the shortest time possible to tackle enemy threats, but it is currently in the testing process. The vehicle is set to operate like an armored combat vehicle when on land, offering ballistic and mine protection.
Meanwhile, the TCG Anadolu is also expected to be deployed with unmanned aerial vehicles, a first in its kind.